water signs. So let's change the view a little bit. I pimped the corner a little bit with flowers and a beautiful fairy, which can't be seen. But anyway, uh, we are starting with water signs. Uh, Cancerians, you're the lucky guys. You've got the carol which is a printing mistake because it's supposed to say La Rueda di Fortuna, which means the Wheel of Fortune. It is still the higher arcana, so it can't be that bad for Scorpio. That is next. You have the lovers. If you are a member of the channel, I work in the same manner as uh, Infinity. Uh, I magnetize yourself. I can really recommend that channel uh, as we exchange energy. It's easy for me to exchange energy, which are frequently visiting this channel. So please hit the subscribe button and give me a like. And it will be easier for me to channel you in the future. So I'm going to do this now because we are rearranging our space a little bit. Meaning that, uh, as all of you know, I am a traveler. And so all I can say that soon time is up. So we have to, you know, if this really were, was the caravan, it's soon time for the caravan to roll so let's hope for good luck on that so Pisian, you have death so although these cards can be interchangeable Personally, I have a very strong tropical placement in Cancer, so very often I go to Cancer and it match. Paisian, not so much, but I have medium quilly and second decanat Cancer, so could be. So you should check your other signs too. We're going to go through them and see what is going on. All right. So we are going to start and see what pops up. Either in love, money, career. And so that will be a general message for all of you. And there might be names that pop up. The might be numbers that pop up there is the number n here there's something here about two mothers i also get something about purple uh, i also get something that has to do with same sex um, I'm also channeling sometimes a little bit different than just what pops up to me. I basically am more of a tracker. Like if I see a footprint, I hunt for a deer, I follow the stench, I follow the piss, I follow the footprints. So if you have a question, uh, regarding someone right now first question questions popping up to your mind the answer is no so I also get that some of you could have children who are being teased a lot at school you're frustrated you don't know exactly what to do about it there are a lot of people who are going down now. They are speaking into tongues, which is very nice. Some of you, especially the uh, Cancerian ones, you have a lot of eyes on you, watching you. And 
Cassarians are known to be good mothers. Some of, some of you uh, could be. I see the strongest though in passion, and I have other people who. It's like you empower yourself. But some of you were bullied a lot as a child and now it's coming back in return as, uh, as you literally could be the reaper. Okay, I get that some of you could have seen 3333 in the orders of 2112212 or something in that direction and then afterwards 333. So there is something about three. We know three is the trinity. I'm not a numerologist. All I know that three is um, the third house is Gemini. Uh, but those numbers are usually not connected to the zodiac. So what is the third ray? So whatever that means, for some it means I'm only halfway evil. Okay, so let's see what the general is for you. These cards are a little bit special, so if you scratch your head and you know them very well, they are extremely mysterious. So you have to do a lot of studies, scratch your head, so I'm just going to read them from my own logic, my own intuition in where they have chose to walk their own path, basically to make their own tarot rules. And that can be risky because there will be a lot of people who says, you know, they're beautiful pictures, but I don't want to read new rules every time I buy a new deck. However, they are too beautiful to restrain from, so we are going to read them anyway. And um, we found our own way to do it. Okay. So. Some of you now will get help, or you could be in a position where you get help. Oh yeah, and these cards, I don't think they show up in reverse. So the good news is that there are no, can't be too many negative news in this sense. Uh, so six of coins is, for me, there are six signs in the cube symbolizes the matrix that we are in the illusion that we are in need of something specific in order to survive sometimes it could be fear attached to the cube however the cube is literally some kind of a shield it wants to shield you from the light because it wants to protect you. It's like a dynamic. Uh, and it's being labeled as evil. The trap is duality, where we have to label as something evil or good. And what is evil is something we have to fear. Some of you actually have that fear or this energy of the, you know being left out in the cold uh, i i can verify that someone's literally being left out in the cold and let's say if there are people around you you are in a hut and you're far away from home and uh, it's a long walk you're, uh, you don't have, you're not well dressed and you can just feel that energy of you're really not wanted there it's very clear that you're really not wanted there without saying any words 
this is the energy I sense. It could be someone who is sending that energy that I don't want to hear. It could be in work, it could be in a living situation, or it could be, this could also lead to a loss of money. It could also be if it say is is your is your boss. He might say, you know, we we can't have you here, so we will give you a little bit extra for you to perhaps find a new job. That's also one possibility. Two. Uh, that is, I agree here with infinity. Interestingly enough, I work with the infinity symbol. Uh, so I agree with infinity here in many sense that two of coins, uh, we perceive it as a twin flame card. I am not so deep into the whole twin flame concept. However, I do see that many people have such a significant, similar, and now 11, 11, 11 pop up. So some of you actually do have a twin flame, which literally means that the same oversoul will incarnate in the same timeline. Usually the divine feminine would be maybe between 10 to 15 years older. That's not for me, that's according to the sources. One would be the runner, one would be the chaser. You can read for yourself. It's not a, that's how it is. For sometimes the divine feminine could be in, could be the male, you know. It's the one who are the most spiritual in regards to the situation. So the point is that you're supposed to push each other into a higher level of consciousness. Wow, that's a lot of coins. So, some of you might now be on a stage where you literally are um, you don't have to be with the with your twin flame or because they are someone who are literally mirroring your frequency so they are on an identical frequency but in it's like looking into a mirror so sometimes you think they can't be my twin flame because they're doing ex exactly opposite of what i do have you noticed like i could just use one example like when i was a child there was one period when i was 19 where i decided i want to change my identity i'm going to be yellow i don't know why so I purchased everything yellow and everyone thought that I was, you know, this happy go jiggly girl who loved yellow and uh, at some point I went back into black, back in black. Uh, but we do change, we, ch we, we change habits, we change music taste. As we evolve, we might even in implement more tastes within music. So usually the music we love is also the music that we are familiar with. My mother playing Bob Marley when I was a child. So as an adult, when I hear it, uh, I feel like I'm being pushed decades back in time. And I don't look like a typical Bob Marley fan, but the music is all about love and light. And I also see some of you here are working on breaking down something you no longer have any use for in your life. There could be a, a Gemini attached to this card or someone with strong Jupiter placement. They could be ruled by Jupiter or we do have uh, sage energy, Gemini energy, Scorpio energy in the Scorpio. In, in, yeah. Some of here are going down because of their lies and their deception. However, some of you are really moving on. 
from the deception someone could have been basically pushed you out in the cold after they had or used you unfortunately we th we think that because i would never do such a thing like harm an animal or cheat on someone it's very easy to think that and everyone else would never do such a thing so we leave our wallet openly and um, we learn another coin so some of you realized that this is literally a bad investment or some of you are now about to with your twin flame soon create a very stable platform that maybe you had to test their head their discipline their heart maybe you had to play a little bit out there in order to check where where do i exactly have who is this is this someone who are being super pretentious or are they are they willing to do the work in order for situationship between us to work in the long run uh, some of you literally got wings some of you have come to the realization of who you truly are which is a different subject uh which again i mentioned before is connected to the color blue yeah these cards are weird they don't want to show up or don't want to show down so in your past there is a soulmate here far past warm feelings i can't even shuffle these cards So twin flame and soulmate coming out very strong. And the urge is to build a platform here. The hesitation is, should I? Is, is it worth it? Uh, if it is a soulmate connection or twin flame situation, it's supposed to be a separation period. If it's a karmic, you stick to get there and when and and <laughs> usually we have a good laugh at, at those who get back together if there's been a billion times trying that before basically karmics others we grow apart from and uh, we fall for that idea that maybe they've changed actually very few people change in that matter we can change in regards to what clothes we wear what music we listen to but when it comes to our mentality if you want to really really change you need to embrace the divine if not there there will be a you know a mental spiritual stagnation so in the recent past some of you could have felt that you needed to defend yourself a little bit maybe some of you were pushed out in the cold you could have been disappointed because you feel that some of them are either a soulmate or you're looking back and you you have this remembrance or this nostalgia in regards to what used to be so beautiful when everyone was uh, on top of each other like Siam cats you know you've seen them Siam cats when they are on top of each other like like a cluster it's pretty cute I love it I love it I remember I was in a cluster 
situation like that where, where all my friends we we shared one bed not like an naked thing but just like oh there's only one bed there it's just like on top of each other and everyone was pretty bendy so when i fell asleep i would fall asleep with my legs up uh, above the couch and then I remember enjoying this sensation of being one with uh, just being one unit in this cluster being a Siam cat and as we grow older that is just weird for some reason okay so let's see what is crowning the situation for my beautiful aquatics oh we have two snakes on the top here <clears throat> so the first uh, snake It's very logical in its own sense, but but it also it it's also ruled by a rather strange set of emotions. It could be a little bit crazy, a little bit risk taker, and it wants to go up. It's like, it's very goal oriented. And uh, it could be the exact snake you need in order to raise your Kundali, because there is another snake, as you are the tree of life, which is in the bottom of the roots. And that snake, um, it's basically trying to build a strong foundation. It's trying to build something that can make the roots stable, like with the four of coins here. But there could be someone around you who are sabotaging by working with their own goals, with their own service to self you know without including the rest of the cluster because we have to work as a family or a team in order to make this work if the tree of life represents a business you need to work as a team and appreciate that we all have different abilities uh, a typical virgo would be someone who are who we wants to organize you know typical Capricorn or an or an Virgo even those are the ones we would trust with making sure that the calculations are okay um, and um, we all have different tasks usually if we have a Leo we want them to be the one who is our face while the Gemini does the marketing so this serpent here is doing opposite of what he's supposed to do so that means that because he doesn't want to cooperate with you he probably only sees things from his or her side of the view uh, they will corrupt the roots of the tree and the entire tree will fall and that goes either you are in a relationship or your work, career, whatever, it will not work. So in that sense, it's better to remove that snake instead of trying to make talk sense into an adult who are incapable of seeing that in order to make this work, we need to work as a team and not be competing in between of us because when we run um, a business 
and let's say we are all shareholder shareholders we equally have as much we all want that business to run well now if you are sneaking behind someone's back like a snake to serve your own self-interest not only is going to that affect your karma uh, but it's also might end up you having no roots to hide under in the end and i'm not even sure what to do is illegal here but there's a lot of money at stake in this situation so for those of you who have to deal with this kind of snake either this is the snake inside of you you have to deal with it for those of you who deal with someone external of you who doesn't want to work with you just be a little bit wary of, of who you are taking into your own field because we do replicate each other subconsciously without really thinking about it okay i'm pretty sure that it, and if any of us lived isolated 20 years <clears throat> with amish people having no access to nothing except amish stuff we would pick up just certain habits subconsciously or whatever they do. I'm not saying you will go on all Amish, but it's been proven that we somehow replicate each other at one. Some people adapt, I'd say it's adaptability. Sometimes we'd say, oh, you're following or you're a copycat. Uh, so it's being very mutable uh, and and sometimes it's it's also basically just human nature because we want to fit into the group so the outcome here of this specific situation is that if that person gets away with it, uh, you will see their true colors, basically, is what I'd say. And you will see that they are more than just a snake, you know. Uh, they might not even appear as a snake, they might appear as a sheep. Uh, shapeshifters, when I say shapeshifters, usually I'm not talking literally, I'm talking uh, en energy wise. That's what actress, a good actress is a shapeshifter. They, they shift their energy field. This is something I've done many times to just freak out people for fun when it's Halloween every day. It, then we shape shift. So whoever is trying to mess up something here because of selfishness, selfishness, they will be exposed. The outward influences here is the sun. So there could be a Leo, someone with strong Leo aspects. She's holding a sword. And what is a sword? Or actually more like a knife to her chest. And um, 
it's like she's protecting her heart. She doesn't look shiny as the sun, but as the sun, she could either burn you into ashes or you, it could, she could give you the heat. I refer the sun to a she, a goddess, because she's shaped like a womb and she is the one that gives life and she's also the one that takes life, as in time, like Kali. As the moon is a tiny little thing, and then you just silver deflection. So someone could come in and uh, they could have been the one who have been encouraging this person who basically will try to take you down into saying, hey, hey, um, if you do it like this, you can get all the stocks, you can get the entire house, blah, 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 blah. And let's face it, if we talk to a snake or a sneaky little cat, which is pretty much kind of like cats are not the most loyal animals in the world. And I don't know about snake, but I don't know if you know a loyal snake. This is not the Norman card though. <clears throat> if you've chosen someone as a Leo, as the brand, you might rethink that, but she's not showing up in reverse. So she, can, she could have encouraged the wrong person because she's showing up as very authentic at the same time afraid of harming the heart she's she you know so this like i said the a sword is not evil it's the one that holds the hand that chooses what to use the sword for so the influence is here is basically the sun and that is driven by happiness there is a goal here and it's all about happiness feel comfortable it's extremely important that you always are in a state of gratefulness even if you because if you focus on everything you do not have then you have very little but if you focus on everything you actually do have you have actually a lot more than you think about because you take it for granted what well like the guy i told you about before a couple of years ago who missed all his limbs except his arm so he could play the piano so the tourists could give him money uh, did you think those limbs just fell off and uh, that he kept the arm because that was just a coincidence, you know. So he really have a good reason to carry grudge, you know. At the same time, how sick it might sound, make might might sound in the land of the blind, uh, the one-eyed king is king the one i want is king <laughs> i find that quite ironic since the the gods of valhalla and so forth the vikings they had a one i king now 
basically whatever you think the cards here tells me that you are in fact in a very good comfortable position right now maybe you don't feel it but you should feel it you should be able to conjure it by simply imagine that oh how did it feel when i was in that turkish bath or in one of those public booths in iceland or when i I know many of you are thinking about the lottery, but yeah, okay, that's cool. If, if that can generate good feelings for you, then do that. So always focus, keep focus on what is positive for you and you will attract more positive situations into your life. Um, so when that's done, Some of you fear about what is about to come in the possible future and that there could be a lot of because oh I have such oh, I'm such in a good place right now what if this disappear and I will be back in my old fear maybe some of you are aware of snake that wants to work against you i see that some of you literally are just walking towards your own shadow here and the shadow is the one that keeps the key to your entirety to everything so at the light side is the lock the dark side has the key and the other way around you need to fuse those a little bit uh, without any kind of suffering we would be morbidly obese attached to netflix and youtube with a giant pizza and probably drowning in our own Jeez. <laughs> so let's check the outcome of this specific situation. It's coming off centered. So someone here again. It's clearly that some of you are not really aware of fact that someone are not quite to be trusted around you but they are kind of sneaking around because they want to do their own business I feel that this is someone who could be it could be an earth sign or it could be an air sign something in between that It could be someone that, you know, who wants all, all the gold for itself. Could have a strong earth placement or have, you know, be very intelligent and practical at the same time, but not intelligent enough to understand that although we are many units, our, our entire body are many units composed together working as one larger unit and the moment one unit starts to oppose the other ones what do you get a disease my favorite animal on earth so we have the arachnid okay 
So this specific uh, individual or energy or person here could be someone who they have so much love that they could literally create a web around you but they are sneaky they are almost you know invisible you don't see me i don't know if you've seen that youtube shot of the spider trying to hide it's very cute they could have multiple of webs around you so you won't run away from them or if you fall i got you you know it could be a little bit intense and it could be the reason spiders freak us off because they've got their legs above their head and there are a lot of legs um, they are out of control and things we cannot control that freaks it out also genetically we have been taught through many genes that spiders can be poisonous so in this case is this one poisonous well i get that if you're going out um let's say bangkok <laughs> make sure that you keep an eye on your drink uh, there could be but, but but it's not shown in a negative manner in this way um so so i i just say that there is someone who could almost be possessive of you and uh, this same person could also be the one who is a little bit sneaky but this is someone who wants you so why would they want the entire tree to fall if they want you so you some of you might be dealing with two people here let's see if we get some signs um okay someone here is a little bit young someone here are literally They are truth sayers. Well, the other one is all about practicalities, as long as it's, it's practicality. And, and, you know, if you don't listen to my practicality, I'm going to do it anyway, because I'm going to show you by, you know, going the other way around. I'm going to disobey the entire group uh, so you can see for yourself that I'm right. They're very stubborn. Maybe they are. But there is also in the outcome here disagreement. Um, I get uh, someone's name here, could be Alice. Um, we have Leo energy here, obviously water signs, we do of course have water signs. Um, some of you obviously have a cat or some of, some of you literally have a cat. Uh, that's for sure. When it comes to snake. Uh, that's more complicated. That completely depends on where you live. So I'm not going to go there too much. Some of you could have, that's also kind of irrelevant whether or whether or not you have spider phobia because, yeah, there's the thing. Those who are afraid of snakes, they're not afraid of spiders and the other way around. I'm not afraid of snakes. So if spider comes along, Oh, you know, so it's a strange thing that some of us have this genetically. Uh, but I know that my fear of spider 
was taught to me by my mother. I was not born with it. So two types. Anyway, there is a spider in the team and there is a snake in the team. One is working against you in regards to money. The, uh, the other one is working towards logic. And it's questionable. It's, it's like, well, if it's logic, if it makes sense, I will do what is best for the rest of the group. The spider is simply in love with, with someone or in love with just being in love. It, it's very cute kind of energy. Um, so I won't worry about the spider this time. Leave him, leave him be or her be. So something is about to come to an end here and it's not going to make any sense there could be a breakdown in regards to logic uh, but something new here is uh, coming in for you guys Right, uh, you will be met with a choice and this choice is very intense and it could be connected to the person who carries the spider, spider, spider energy and I think that this, the spider person is a water sign or have strong, this is someone with strong feelings okay and uh, they carry very intense feelings towards you and they could create a web of illusions around you with the moon attached in between of you which could drive you crazy but they might try to pull you in again with the lures they have with nice perfume or whatever lures or spells they do have. Maybe some voodoo. Um, also spiders, we know they are pulling the threads sometimes. And if someone are leading the crowd, we usually find them in the dark. I did see in the dark in a recent dream. I was in a mountain side and first I saw the tree where the snakes resides. It's a beautiful tree, so I was, and, and, and below the roots uh, or on top of the roots, there was this beautiful eggs that was shimmering. It turns out it was this geode like minerals that if you crack them open they shine and so i was like oh this this uh, gold sickness you get like oh i want them all you know and then a woman appeared to me and looked at me and that's like when i understood oh yeah yeah they don't belong to me they belong to mother earth and one man would appear to me and he would have that serpent energy and he would be very eager and say uh, come raven come raven come raven and he had the the chariot i talked to you about and to him i was that shiny rock that had that value because i was in a different country where blue-eyed blonde people have a value of their own someone tried to warn me and they were in the shadows like a spider tried to warn me tried to say something but if they went out and revealed themselves uh, it would be game over so it could be a warning for you too uh, because 
the story line here it was also a lucid dream uh, i knew i was dreaming and i was hoping that oh i teleported here so i don't have to get the air flight <laughs> What you see in the back of the deck is a quite unique uh, version of strength there because it seems to me that they partially are following the Toth deck as the Crawley, but with their own strange twist. So I don't know why some of the words have Norwegian signs. It seems like it could be Old English or Old Germanic language, which they both have, because we have A, Ø, O, which English don't. And so this usually would be a Libra card. In this sense, it is a, a Leo, sorry, Leo calm she's coming upright she's very mysterious she's red and black i regret i didn't pull on that thing right now she carries a black cat and she represents strength and wisdom and so she's got the pineal gland the eye the knife and something that looks like potatoes, but it's probably the coins. Uh, v, uh, v I S Vis means wisdom. And she's coming out in reverse. So someone might surprise you in that regards that they don't act upon their wisdom which they should. And that could lead to a shock. As you see here, she holds the cat. And as her veil is being lifted, uh, she could be in for a shocked shock as uh, she would be, you know, revealed and confronted. With the truth. All right. With that sense, with that said, um, I just have to show you one card because it's so cool. It's actually a devil card. But it's so beautiful made it's far back in the deck so don't you worry so this is how it looks like i don't regret i think this must be the coolest card deck i've ever purchased in my life i'm not supposed to purchase card but when this stuff pops up in your face <laughs> Amazing where you have money, isn't it? Okay, so let's do a last specific message for each water sign. So in regards to love, what is your message here, Cancerians? We have the hitchhikers. I've been looking for them everywhere. I've been looking for them everywhere. I don't know where they are. I thought I lost them. Okay, we can use them. But today I found at least three, four things I've been looking for weeks. <laughs> Pretty cool. It's that moment when you're it, it's a trick i'll tell you that if you're looking for something 
you tell the universe, I'm looking for something, I don't have it. And the universe will say, okay, you're looking for something, you don't have it. The moment you can convince yourself that you have it and it will appear, whatever. <laughs> I know it's hair, you know. It will appear, whatever. <laughs> it's a small trick I find out. If it's truly gone, been stolen from you, it simply means that it's a sign. Maybe you don't need it anymore. Maybe you should stay away from it. And so these are the, some of the messages that we might stumble upon now. So in regards to your love life, Cancer, what is it that you need to know? Yeah, these cards. I looked for them everywhere. <laughs> I thought I lost them and the cards inside. And they pop. So, someone here, there's something higher about success and a change. And one of my favorite cats, a cheetah, a really wild cat. And this is about a new beginning. Uh, it could have something to do with a new idea uh, but some are a little bit distrustful of that idea maybe because they've been burned before and they are afraid to be burned so so the, the message here is that some of you might take another path another route uh, due to simple justice and you will simply reject uh, your person, Cancer. Um, you might, um, some of you might be dealing with someone who are dishonest, a thief. And um, they might bring you a beautiful ring. And uh, I remember a girl came to me and she said, uh, hey, here's your gold ring. I was like, how come you have my gold ring? Well, do you remember you had a party? I said, yeah, I remember that party very well. She said, yeah, my boyfriend, he is the one that went into your parents' bedroom and stole all your jewelry. He gave that ring to me and you are my friend and I feel super bad for just wearing it. It's, it's, you know. So that was, by the way, an amazing thing of her to do and a creepy thing of him to do. So if you have some, it seems to most of you Cancerians that you're going to do the sensible thing here in regards to your partner. Now let's have a look at Scorpios. What is it that Scorpios need to know in regards to love? So the Cancerians, the Hermits, was there anything else there? I don't know, Casper is popping up. Uh, it could also have something to do with the angel Caspiel, Cassio. Um, also get this word rot. Uh, it could be that some of you are connected to that snake, which creates rot to the roots of the tree of life instead of giving it uh, the light it's supposed to give. Now, let's see what is it that Scorpio needs to know in regards to love. Hmm. Okay. Show me Great Spirit. What is it that Scorpio needs to know in regards to love? What 
is if that Scorpio needs to know in regards to love. Okay, so basically, most of you Scorpios are done crying. You, you cried maybe for years, maybe you reached my age and you realized that what's the point? Uh, dehydrating yourself with all that nice water you could keep in your body so you could survive on the planet Arrakis. Huh? <laughs> Waste of tears, you realize. Uh, if, if they love me, uh, that I will know. I don't know if this is someone you are on your way to, but you're not hearing anything from them. The communication is closed. The Mother Star is a peculiar card, which is one of those... Hey, what, what, what's up here, you know? What is that all about? So we're going to take a closer look at what the heck is the Mother card? What does she want to say? So it's got something to do here. It's like she's a mixture of the High Priestess and the Empress and the Tiger here. Uh, I work with Tiger energy right now, so that's a little bit interesting. It's got three eyes and butterfly wings. And she's, she's also like a magician. And whatever question you have in regards to the situation, it's yes. What do you know? Tree of Life. So there is a tree connected, connected to her and there is a message, there is a message here. Uh, there is a pretty intense message actually. Um, it could have something to do with someone was revealed for being a snake, another seven of sword cards here, from another deck, interesting enough. Let's see what else do we have. Getting the mother star is strange. Oh, that's even more strange when you are on the synchronicity trail you really are it's going to go fast you really are on the synchronicity trail so yeah seven of swords again so scorpio uh be careful uh and you know that there are false people around you however some of these false people you find them a little bit cute because you already know they're playing you and you're playing dumb, dumb as puff, right? Yeah, I know that, I know that you're playing me. I'm just going to pretend I don't know you're playing me because I might have use of your services, says Scorpio. Also, I think you're pretty cute. Um, do you believe that there is good in you also? The fox, when it's an alarming card, literally symbolizes fake people. Now, the fox is sneaky here, hiding like this because of fear. So when someone are being sneaky around you like that, it's not an excuse for doing shitty things, it's fear. You need to know that the ravens got the key. If you see this and you are the fox, the raven has the key. The raven is your guru. And they do have the key. More than one, actually. <clears throat> They also have the sword, the sword of truth. They also have bring with them stability. 
and they also have information about the infinity symbol and how they manage to break through the cocoon. and enter that stage which many spend lifetimes on entering uh, keeping it there that's another thing that is about focus muscles and all that and uh, mother of wands there is an egg here some of you might be asked, uh, what is an egg? Okay. There literally was a lightning here uh, right before I started this read. And at the end of the day, uh, for some of you, It's the end because the game you have tried to play, it's not a fair game. And so the Hierophant, which is also a butterfly, which is also an owl, which is many of the different totem animals, will push you out because you pretended to to drive a really cool car maybe a mustang 67 or a badass trans am but the engine was poor and the driver was drunk and greedy so be a little bit careful with who you're messing with messing with whoever you are out there because if you're, if you're, even if you're a Scorpio yourself and you try, you should know better than playing another Scorpio. The thing is that we are all Cobras. First message in, in um, Capoeira, one of the most important messages is that don't be tempted into trying to flick the other Cobra a little bit because remember, they are cobras too. Okay, so let's jump on to the Paishin and see what kind of messages we have there. All right. So, Paishis. What is it that you need to know? So Paishin, you are the yes, yeah, so Scorpion, you 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 are the one with the lovers card. And and in this case I've seen you be with the five of cups taking in so much crap that you are now the one with the sword above your heart, uh, making sure, or basically more like a shield, that you come into that stage that, <clears throat> just like the raven, they follow, they follow a pattern. They will follow you and see what is your pattern. Uh, which makes them among the sm smartest birds, maybe animals on earth, to solve problems because they watch you. And uh, scorpions have been hurt many times, sometimes by themselves and their own ideologies about that everyone in the world are nice people. Because believe it or not, Scorpios are nice people. They just are a little bit edgy and they are very... <laughs> What's it called? 
they are kind of sometimes opposing their their own ideologies into the extremes you know so one day they are very very blue and the other day they are very very red okay um and so i see scorpio some of you might need to take a choice in love however you will do it with logic if you see that your person isn't really giving you any solid fundament to to base the choice on okay so Pisces energy on top of the scorpion energy Okay, is it that kind you need to know in love? Okay, so whatever situation you are in now, Pisces, it seems like the situation's been draining you. Okay. And also i see here there is no communication you could be dealing with a water sign six of cups someone are no longer giving to the situation um they could also be someone who have been draining you of resources let's see on top of the deck here and we have nine of cups uh you don't feel too good about this you don't feel all that uh maybe you'd hope for a wedding here it's not coming in um some of you could be dealing with exactly that twin flame which is two of coins, which is two of coins here. Harmony, balance, harmony, balance. Or twin flame as in someone with the... So, so this is different messages for all of you. Uh, this other twin flame could also be a hierophant, someone who themselves had their heart broken and therefore now will be very defensive. Uh, they could have felt somehow a betrayal or the other way around. And again, you have nine of wands. They have this wall, which is full of passion. Seven of wands, challenge, courage, also this wall. Uh, so now it seems to me like if you cannot give them stability, if you're still very in and out, uh they they will uh some of you could be dealing uh with the scorpio pages um they are taking back their cup unless you are willing to make any standpoint here uh, what, what does the lenormand card says if you still are in this indecisiveness uh, patient uh, if you if you're dealing with scorpio or another fixed sign they, they don't have time for uh, yeah maybe when and blah 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 so, so this is someone who like i said they're dried out they have no more tears it's a song on zilsburn um they could be thinking about you very strong and you know in naked terminologies here because there is a lot of passion here so clearly you have showed them something which is difficult especially if you're dealing with scorpio or a Taurus also here. They have strong drive. 
Uh, and again, what do you know? Tree. Something about tree. They could obsess uh, about trees. Uh, and they could have Venus in Scorpio, progressive or natal. I don't know. You could have the one with Venus in Scorpio. And there is a message here. Maybe the message could be very subtle under the moon. All right. Let's see what else we have here. Again, Seven of Cups. There's a lot of Scorpio energy here. If you have Venus in Scorpio, or you're dealing with a Scorpio, or you have Scorpio in your, I don't care if it's natal, or if it's tropical or whatever, this message coming strongly out, uh, there needs, the, the truth needs to come out here. You are dealing with someone who is basically a queen of sword, could be a Libra or with Libra abilities. They like to, this is also someone who likes to go undercover. It's someone who likes to do magic. They could literally make the stars, you know, they create stars. They have uh, already a foundation, so they are not necessarily in need of you. And again here, uh, this is someone who likes to transform things by the truth. Uh, and so again, um, under this tree, under this tree is the answer, what is in the egg? Okay, I would love to pull you a, um, yeah, could pull you, each one of you, a very quick message from the moon cards. They're not my favorite oracle cards. So for Cancerians, look at the bigger picture. I love that moon. Sagittarius energy, full moon. Oh. Hold your vision, fixed moon, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. That was for Scorpio. Pages, this is for you. The energy is gaining momentum. Boxing moon. Okay, thank you so much for checking out my channel. I hope some of these channels here, I haven't channeled as much as I should, but uh, I'll be better at it. Love you so much and thank you so much for your time. And remember, thumbs up and I'll catch you on the flip side.